Hey guys, this is AJ, the CEO here with another video, and I wanted to kind of share with you a little bit more in depth about our system here with um, how to have a viewfinder from a camera that's all the way over there. Alright folks, this is AJ the CEO. Um, thanks for stopping by my channel and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews and bills on how to modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So here in my media ministry, like I said, we had to kind of jimmy rig a lot of stuff here. And I mean it works fine and I just kind of want to share what we've actually done. So here we're using, you can't see it here. But it's right there and then another one is down here. We actually have a Canon Vixia G20 and we have it on a pan tilt arm and we use a little light controller for our powering it on and zooming in and out and we also have this is the remote that sends power to the arm so we can move it up and down and again at the time that's what we had. So what we had to do is figure out how to get the viewing from here instead of just using this. So let me actually turn these cameras on so that you can see them from our video mixer. So we have our front and back cameras right here. So we needed to be able to see this for the people who manned our cameras because when we designed ours we didn't have a universal remote controlled all of them. Each one of our cameras is manned. So somebody will be right here, somebody's right there, somebody's on the farther one, and one's right here. Normally it's one person doing that, so they have to jump back and forth. But instead of looking at this screen, the small screen, we wanted a big screen. So how do we do that? I mentioned it before, we're using the Ori XD700, which will take any input and convert it to SDI, which is what we have on the camera up there. And as you see, it sends out two signals. So one is going to the actual ATEM, the other one we're using for a display to show exactly what's on the screen. So here is the cable from the camera that's right there. So we have one, like I said, going into the into the system, our ATEM, all the way over there in the mini tower. And then we need another one here. So that cable is split. And how we do this? Now, again, we had some monitors that unfortunately only had VGA. So that's another converter that we'll talk about later, but that's pretty much like a VGA to HDMI to VGA adapter. So how do we get it like this? And that's where the Blackmagic SDI to HDMI comes in. And I mentioned these before when I was talking about video distribution um, in a video that I will link at the top, but this is another way of how we use this. So as you can see right now, the camera is on. So this one has a power supply and a plug. So what we're gonna do here, and this is gonna be a little difficult with one hand. All right, we got that in plugged in, and then this is the loop out, so we can't use this one. So we have to make sure we're on this one. in place so it's not going anywhere. Now we got our power here and I need to reposition this so I can have some room for this. Now I could have saved myself some time and actually use the irregular USB plug-in for these instead of this power adapter and I might actually move to that because I had to unplug the multi-view monitor. So let me plug that back in. All right, so I got my monitor plugged back in. But let's see, this is the image that we're looking for. And now that everything's plugged in, boom, there we go. So we're able to see exactly what the camera would see if we were actually having the camera up to our face. So we can turn it on. So we can move up. 
down, left, right. And we have it just like it goes into the system. It has a clean HDMI out, so we're not seeing all of everything else on the screen, like the zoom in and all that other stuff. All right, so I'm just gonna take the other one and hook up for the other camera right there because this is the one that actually broke. The This is the old one that we had and this one got fried over here. All right, we are back in business and this one is set up the exact same way. We got a VGA, HDMI to VGA converter right there, but that's pretty much it. And that's the same thing. That's the bigger version of the smaller one that we got because the other one burnt out. So that's pretty much it. So hopefully that can give you some ideas of some other ways that you, if you're using a camcorder and there's some way that you have a remote, there's another way that you can actually see it. And that's, that's another way of how we actually use the SDI to HDMI converters. So it can convert the signal to whichever way that you need in any fashion that you have. So that's pretty much it. So question of the day. How else do you use any type of conversions? Do you use H, um, SDI to HDMI or HDMI to VGA? Whatever type of converters do you use in your media ministry setup? Um, drop them in the comments. Uh, I love reading them because I learn some new stuff every day when I see the comments. So again, this is AJ. Thanks for watching this video. If you do like this content, go ahead and give me a like and also consider subscribing. And that way you also make sure you also hit that bell notification. That way you get notified when we come out with new videos. This is AJ and we will see you in the next video later.